A new report says people are not producing enough children for planet Earth. They warn that we could see this come to fruition by 2020. Wait. Okay, I'm like, what the hell? We're already past that. 2050, 2050, predicting that more than 75% of countries don't have the fertility rates to maintain populations. Joining us to talk about it, OBGYN Ebony January. So do you put much validity in this report that we could see less humans on Earth in the future? I absolutely think so. Um, I'm definitely seeing less babies than you know typically typically what i see is women in their 30s they're procreating quite a bit but now what i'm seeing is 20 year olds and 40 year olds so 20 year olds maybe they're having their first or second baby but the 40 year olds are having their babies for the fir the very first time mm -hmm. so many times you know um, what we refer to women as primates if they've never been pregnant at all and if they're primate that means no pregnancies no abortions no miscarriages nothing these women Wait, give us that word one more time it's called <laughs> Primate. Primate. Okay. Yeah, so that's just said it, primates. It, yeah. Like, what the hell? <laughs> no, it's primate. a planet of the apes. No, not <laughs> no, at no, all. Go ahead. But primate, so they've never been pregnant at all. Uh -huh. So what I would see in the past is that with 40 year olds, they maybe have had their third or fourth baby, but now I'm seeing 40 year olds that are pregnant for the very first time. So, so that, is it more so delayed? So they're, they're not happening. So there's delay, but just think about it. If they're delayed and they can only have one or two right. because they're older, mm -hmm. then this is a smaller population of people. Now, you and I talked earlier about China. Mm -hmm. They've seen a significant decrease in the number of births there. In fact, some maternity wards have had to, sh or ho maternity or uh, hospitals that were designed for baby delivering, they had to just shut down and do something else. Mm -hmm. So why are we seeing so many uh, the, the significance in decrease when we talk about China. And it's really across the board, honestly, except, except for... Not this, just China. Not just over. China, it's across the board, um, except for in Africa, actually. What we've seen in Africa is that more pe people are living young, longer, longer, healthier lives in Africa. Um, they're across the board, just healthier, and so they procreate, and so every other place they have poor diets there's so many things a maternal death rate for mm -hmm. one thing is a huge topic um, and people are dying doing childbirth so not many people are choosing to have babies or we don't have mothers that are around to actually have more babies mm -hmm. so that's what we're seeing unfortunately and in America should we focus more on prenatal care making sure especially with minority women absolutely because we've heard that minority women don't get the same treatment as say someone who may be white absolutely so what we're seeing um is a lot of pre-existing conditions but also mishandling of minority patients during childbirth so it's very important for women to educate themselves across the board on their bodies what you do before you even get pregnant is so significant what you eat what you drink um, just uh, as a whole you need to be more healthy and more conscious of some of the pre-existing things that are that you are actually predisposed to whether it's cardiovascular disease or diabetes so women really have to do the work and also have the conversations with their doctors and also when we talk about delivering culturally competent care we have to have those conversations with people and doctors who deliver care to us that don't necessarily look like us so it's a a lot that goes into um, our population and one not being healthier but also not having as many babies doing to numerous things especially the economy all right dr ebony january thank you for joining us here on the factor on censor and of course we want to thank you as well want to do a quick shout out to my sister joyce george in baton rouge louisiana who's celebrating her birthday happy birthday to you sis and of course we want to thank you for joining us make sure you follow us on social media